been playing a little bit tonight. I've got a couple of leftover paints that I mixed together. And I've got some new paints. I have different pouring mediums. They're all bloom recipe technically, but <laughs> they're varied because some of them I have Josonia Glossin. Some of them I have Polyglyc. Some of them I have the Sherwin-Williams untinted base paint, and some I have Glidden Premium. And at this point, because I've mixed a bunch of paints up together, some of them have all of them in the one color. Uh, so I'm either asking for trouble, or I'm gonna come up with something cool that I will never be able to replicate again. And knowing me, that's what's gonna happen. Um, <laughs> that's my life. So I'm not gonna be too precious about this. I just wanna do something a little different. I feel like I've been playing it a little too safe lately, and when I play it too safe, I get kind of sad. So I'm going to do teals and purples and greens, really my favorite color combination. As much as I love hot pink, I'm just I'm not feeling hot pink this very moment. I'm not even really telling you what I'm using because it is a mystery to me. I know this here is Arteza Lime Green. I think this has the Joe Sonia in it. So some of these colors I'm using, I mixed weeks ago, if not months ago, and they've stayed liquidy. Now this one's separated pretty badly. I'm still gonna try it. It's kind of a periwinkle color here, this is nice. I know that this is all Artist Loft paint, and I'm guessing, based on its age, this would be Glidden Premium mixed with Polycrylic. Oh, doesn't that just kind of make it dance? Uh, it's a nice color combo right there. Now the big question is, do I use white or black cell activator? Harumph. Did not get a harumph from that guy? Okay. Um, oh, what to do? Choices. Gotta spin this back to the center a little bit. Got a nasty bubble here to pop. Never popped anyway, but these were popular before. I think I'm gonna go black. I need just a little bit more turquoise. Cell activator really doesn't look right, does it? You know, I accidentally left it uncapped for like two days, and it's still pretty thick. Uh, and I like my CA thick, but oh boy, this is maybe <laughs> not quite correct. We'll find out. Oh, yeah. um, that really doesn't throw me. I the big guns, and by that I mean the world's tiniest blower. <laughs> something interesting um, or horrendous. Either way, this is really all about experimenting. <laughs> oh boy. I wonder if I should just throw that CA out or if I should add some more cultural to it. I'm just gonna let this sit for a few moments.
closer. There's some stuff by this I really like, so even though my black CA is a little bit wonky, this still turned out cool. It's very contrasty. I love high contrast. It kind of reminds me of like an orchid. An iris. It reminds me of an iris. Next shot, I'll show it to you dry.